obviously there are lots of things that schools in the 2020s have to grapple with. One of them has been the concept of gender identity. Now, the government published some draft guidance, which included banning teaching the idea of the concept of gender identity. It's due to start being used later in the year. If you win the election, will that still happen? I'm afraid that, just, just to say, I'm not sure that's quite right and that the government published draft guidance, mm. which was subject to consultation. The consultation is closed at the point at which the election was called, that was being considered in terms of the, uh, the, in terms but, of the responses. But the expectation but the was that this would be brought in later the in the year. The principle of guidance, I think, is an important one. That's what I hear from school leaders across the country. They want clarity on how to manage what is a, a sensitive and difficult area for them. I think what we do need to see on this, we absolutely do need to see guidance. The Labour government, if we win the trust of the British people, will make sure that happens. But let's make sure that children's well-being is at the heart of this. Let's stop this being a political football. This is our children's lives, mm. their well-being. It's too important to make this a culture wars issue on the front pages of newspapers. Let's take a more responsible approach, give schools the clear guidance that they need and make sure that our young people are supported but as my, well. But my question is, what would your guidance be? What do you believe teachers should be advised to do? Because what the Conservative government has suggested they would do is ban the teaching of the concept of gender identity. So I believe is many, that what you would tell schools to do too? Many aspects of the draft had good and straightforward principles in it. Other elements of it, I think, drifted far too much into partisan and unnecessary language that I think makes it harder for schools to navigate this. So if I were Education Secretary, I'd want to look at all of the responses that we've received to the consultation. I know that, for example, school leaders have flagged areas that they feel is still outstanding within the guidance. We would want to look at that, do it responsibly, work with parents, with young people and with the profession to get this right. This has been, ministers have been rowing about this for months and months. That is not the way to deal but what with would you, such but, but I want to press issue. you on this point because it's a very sensitive issue and it's of great importance to some people and some teachers have felt very anxious about this. So you say some elements of the, uh, of the plan are okay, some are not, but would you ditch the ban on teaching the concept of gender identity? No, there are trans people within society and they're their existence should be recognised. So they have you wouldn't legal, ditch that. They had, they had, no, this is it, it, this drifts, I think, sometimes into a slightly bizarre conversation. There are trans people. They have a right for their existence to be recognised. Many people, many trans people, are vulnerable and are deserving of support. Alongside that, we've got to make sure that schools have got clear guidance about how best to support children and young people that are experiencing distress and issues around their well-being. That is not well served by ministers picking fights, seeking headlines. Let's take a more responsible approach. Let's take the heat out of it. Let's do this properly and seriously. But